Yo, what's good guys, it's Retro Giraffe. Hope you guys are doing well and welcome back to my channel. For this video, we do have the 2020 Spring Collector's Chest that's released sometime last year in April. So I guess you can say that I'm late to the party, but I found these at my local Walmart probably like a few months ago. And I think this was like the residual stock that they had at their warehouses. So I think they're just like pushing products out. So I found these, I actually have a few more that I want to keep sealed. But this one seemed like the most banged up because there is like a slight indent right here. But let me actually take the shrink wrap off so we can see what actually comes inside of it. So here we have the chest out of the plastic wrap and let's actually take this little cardboard insert out and if we take a look at this we see that it says three foil cards um, which are basically promo cards featuring the starters five tcg booster packs and much more so i don't know how well you guys are going to be able to see it but based on the picture we do see two sword and shield one cosmic eclipse one burning shadows and one evolution so hopefully we can get at least those packs we do have some other things as well. On the front of the chest, we do see Zashin and Zamazenta respectfully in like the red and blue color scheme. On the bottom, we see the three Galar starters. We have Grookey, Scorbunny, and Sable. Sable Squad all the way. On one side, we see Zashin, and on the other, we do see Zamazenta. On the front, we do have a handle with a little buckle, and on the bottom, we do have the Galar starters as well. So let's actually unbuckle this, open it up, and we are greeted with, I guess, we are greeted with the promo cards right here. So we do see a score bunny, Krooky, and a Sobble. We also get a coin. Let me try to give you guys a better look of it, but we do have a holographic coin. It does feature the three starters right there, Sobble, Grookey, and Score Bunny. And on the back, it's just black with Pokemon right there. Before we see what packs come inside of it, let's actually look at the other goodies. So we do have some sticker sheets. So we have some stickers of the starters, also some miniature ones as well. So the bigger ones and some smaller ones. We also get stickers of the legendaries as well. So Zashin and Zabazenta, big ones and small ones. Next, we have a notepad with a Zashin Zabazenta and also the starters on top and I actually do use these notepads quite a bit because I actually take a lot of notes I'm pretty um, old school when it comes to like taking notes I'm very like analog like paper pen style compared to like writing on my phone even though the phone is more convenient I just prefer paper pen I don't know something about it but yeah so we have a notepad and lastly we do have this little portfolio right here this little like mini binder I don't know who really uses this, maybe like kids, but personally for me, I'm not a big fan of it because I think it's like the bare minimum in terms of like protection for your cards. But still, it is something, so if you guys are interested in it, I'll probably just give this away for free. And it does come with a little plastic insert to hold everything together, so let me just put everything back and let's get into the pack. So right off the bat, we see a Crimson Invasion, which is slightly disappointing. So Crimson Invasion, we do get the Burning Shadows, okay, very, very nice. We do get an Evolutions as well, so that's even better. And on this side, it should be two Sword and Shield packs. So yeah, there we go. So unfortunately, we did skimp out on the Cosmic Eclipse, which was personally what I was looking forward to the most. But yeah, so two Sword and Shield. And here is a code for you guys. Uh, please let me know what you guys get. I'm pretty sure this is for the promo cards. But yeah, here is a code. And let's go in order of popularity, personally for me. So we can do Evolutions, Burning Shadows, Sword and Shield, and then Crimson Invasion. So we'll start off with Crimson Invasion and end with Evolution. So starting off, we have a Buzzwall pack. I think it's crazy how much the popularity of Evolutions has grown over the past like half a year because ever since the Logan Paul break, I think that was a big catalyst to like Evolutions like exploding in price. So yeah, personally for me, I think the price is going to come down to probably like 700, 600 around there. But yeah, it's definitely past like the $100 price point that we're all used to. So for this one, we have a Fire Energy, Gladion, Dashing Pouch, a Mawile, a Lolan Geodude like hiding in the rocks, Stuffle, a Pumpkaboo, Star You. Ooh, I actually really like this. And it is by Baba, so very notable artist or illustrator. Dino with the Fiero in the back. I love it when they feature like other Pokemon in the background as well. This kind of gives me like Southern Island vibes with like the Charizard in the background. Kind of like that. Ooh, Houndour. I actually forgot about the sun and moon reverse pattern, but we do see like a dark symbol right there, and, like miniature dark symbols around it. But we have a Houndour reverse and a Wigglytuff with a Weedle in the background as well. So a pouting Wigglytuff with like a worried uh, Weedle in the background. Like I said, I like any artwork with like multiple Pokemon in the background, but yeah. And now we're getting into our sword and shield packs. Here's the code for you guys and forward to the front. And for this one, we have a Metal Energy, Mantine, Dotler, Corvus Squire, Goldeen, Roselia, Ghastly, I really like that art. Ponyard, Sizzlipede, Reverse Goldeen, and a Frostmoth Hollow. Very, very nice. 
this is very playable so very cool to get a playable card i did mention in previous videos of how i actually want to get into the tcg so i think building some cards up into my collection i think they'll be very useful compared to like buying cards on tcg player but yeah definitely want to kind of get into it hopefully maybe i can go to like regionals or maybe even worlds so we'll see here is another code forward to the front and for this pack we have a psychic energy citrus berry corvus squire thwacky Maractus, Pikachu, Galarian Meowth, Sizzlepeed, Wooloo. We have a Reverse Rosalia by none other than Sal Sal him, her, herself. And our rare is a Masharna. Okay, so non hollow rare. All right, and on to our final two packs. So we are getting into a Marshadow Burning Shadows pack. Here is a code for you guys. And let's do four to the front, I believe, because it is still Sun and Moon. So for this one, we have a Lightning Energy, Super Scoop Up, Plumeria, Seedra, Rhyhorn. Oh, I really like this Riolu. Um, Riolu, Cutie Fly, Tynamo, Dabbing Duskull, a Malamar Reverse, and a Passimian non holo with a... Seems like he's fighting a Lucario, so very, very cool art. And last but not least, we have Evolutions. We're taking it back to 2016 when this set initially released, I believe. And this set is basically what got me back into Pokemon, so I'm actually really excited to see what this pack has. And since it's XY, I think it's three. So let's see what this pack has to offer. So we have a Magmar, Energy Retrieval, Blastoise Spirit Link. Okay, so it's upside down. So Electabuzz, Drowsy, Staryu, Energy, Growlithe, upside down again. So we do have a Drowsy Reverse. And our last card is a Starmie non holo So unfortunately, we only got one holo rare out of this entire collector's chest. But I guess the value is in like the other stuff as well, like the stickers and everything. But glad I opened one and not the rest of them. But yeah, that is it for this unboxing. I know it was pretty short, but hopefully you guys did enjoy it. If you guys remember, I said that I was moving sometime in February, but that actually got pushed back to this month. So Within the next week or so, I'm going to be moving a lot. So if you guys don't see me uploading as consistently, that is the reason why. Another thing is I want to do more collection videos because since I am moving some stuff, um, everything will be out and about. So I think I'll be doing a collection video before I move. And then once I get into the new place, probably do like a room tour. So let me know what you guys think of these video ideas. But that is going to be it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, even though our pools were subpar. But as always, I thank you guys so much for watching. Please leave a like if you liked this video. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one.